All right, everyone, good morning. Thanks to those of you who are in the classroom today. Thanks to those of you who are joining over Zoom. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Welcome back. It is Monday morning. We are starting our new chapter, chapter five. It is geometry in 3D. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is kind of just a little bit of review on angles. We're going to do our regular lesson plan for this week where we do three lessons. On Thursday, we're gonna do a quiz. On Friday, we're going to go over the things that people were confused on on the quiz. And then we're just gonna do a fun math activity. All right, so let's get going here. We have angle types. Key skills for today are what we believe and think. That today is identify and calculate angle measures for adjacent, supplementary, complementary, and vertical angles. All right, let's take a look at our first angle. All right, adjacent angles. Two angles are adjacent if they share a common side and a common vertex. Can somebody out there please give me a definition of the word adjacent? Not necessarily a math definition, but can anyone tell me what adjacent means? If you're on mute, can you unmute yourself? To be side by side. To be side by side, excellent. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. All right, does anybody have a different definition than that? No? All right, great, thank you so much. All right, so let's take a look at this. I am going to stop sharing right now. We're gonna talk a little bit about adjacent angles. Let's take a look at the board here. All right, if I have an angle, I'm gonna draw an angle on the board here. An adjacent angle does not mean that it has to be on top or on bottom. You can have it be on either side. So if this is angle A, Angle B is an adjacent angle to angle A. And if I drew another angle here, angle C is also an adjacent angle to angle A. Does anybody have any questions before we move on right now? I know this is probably review for most of you from last year, but feel free to shout anything out. Anyone? Okay, great, thank you. All right, let's go to our next angle. Sorry, thanks to those of you in the classroom for being patient here. I know that this has been tricky. Okay, so complementary angles. Oops, that is not correct. We are going to supplementary angles. So with our supplementary angles, can anybody tell me you should all know because you're looking at the screen. What is a supplementary angle? Feel free to read it out. Drew, go ahead. Um, it's an angle that adds up to 180 degrees. That's right. And can anyone that's at home right now, can anyone tell me what another word is for a 180 degree angle? What's another word for this? A line. A line. Thank you guys so much. So a line is 180 degrees. All right, so in order to have a supplementary angle, those two angles add up to 180 degrees. So if I have a 180 degree angle, on our sample here, we have a 60 degree angle and we have a 120 degree angle. However, it really doesn't matter how big those angles are. So I'm gonna stop sharing again. We're gonna go over another example on the board here. So you see here, I drew this line. Hopefully everyone can see it at home. Can you guys see that line? All right, perfect, thank you. I appreciate that acknowledgement. All right, so if I drew a line here, and let's say this is an 11 degree angle, and we needed to figure out what this angle is. Is there anyone that can tell me how you would figure out what this angle is. If we have, if we're adding this up, we need to make it 180 degrees. What would we do in order to figure out what this missing number is? All right, Drew? Uh, you'd subtract 11 from 180. 
That's right, super easy. 180 minus 11. Can I have someone at home do that for me? What's 180 minus 11? 169. 169. Thank you. So this angle is 169 degrees. All right, guys. So every time you see, if you're given one angle and you're looking for that supplementary angle, you can do a simple subtraction problem in order to figure out what that missing angle is. All right, so let's move on to our next definition. Our next definition here is complementary angles. So anyone want to, can somebody please read the definition of a complementary angle? Can I have one of the girls jump in, please? Ladies, um, can you read for me what that complementary angle is? Complementary angle is an angle that adds up to 90 degrees. A complementary angle is an angle that adds up to 90 degrees. So the reason, the way that I like to think of complementary versus supplementary, 90 degrees is less than 180, C comes before S. So you can think about it that way. That's a good tip to remember it. Remember we have that quiz on Thursday. So remember that little trick there because you know I'm gonna ask for the definition. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing again here. We're gonna look at a 90 degree angle or what is approximately a 90 degree angle because I'm not that good at drawing. All right, so here, if I give you an angle and say this is a 70 degree angle here and I'm asking for this missing angle using the same technique that we had for our supplementary angles. Can somebody just tell me what the angle is here that's missing? Um, it, is it 20 degrees? It is a 20 degree angle. How did you figure that out, Caitlin? Um, I use subtraction. You use and subtraction, and, <laughs> subtraction and addition because you checked your work. That's what I like to see. Thank you so much. All right. So our next angle is going to be a vertical angle. So does anyone want to read that vertical angle definition for me, please? Go ahead, Kate. Um, vertical ang angles are opposite each other when two lines cross. Vertical angles are congruent. All right, that's right. Thank you so much. So can anybody notice, does anybody notice anything about the angles that are across from each other? What are you guys observing in those angles? Drew? Uh, they're equal. They're equal, they're the same. So that 30 and the 30 that's up opposite, those are, or congruent, I guess, they are the same. So 150, 150, they're the same. So when we look at these angles, what's another thing that you notice about that 150 and the 30? They add up to 180 degrees. They add up to 180 degrees, that's right. And does anybody, can anybody tell me why? Can you tell me why? Because they make a straight line. They make a straight line, great, thank you so much. All right, so if I, if you take a look up here and you see this line here, I'll draw this line here. All right, so let's say this is an 80 degree angle and this is the only angle that I give you. What angle is this? If we're using that congruent method, we know that these angles are congruent because they're opposite each other. What is it? What, how, what angle, what's the measure of that angle? 80 degrees. 80 degrees, exactly. And along with that, if we know this is 80 degrees, what do we know this angle is? If this is a straight line, if we're following this straight line here, what do we know this angle is then? since that is to be a supplementary angle. 100 degrees. 
100 degrees. All right, so then this one, what's this one? 100 degrees. 100 degrees, that's right. All right. So let's go check this one last thing. You guys, if you, does anybody have any questions that they, they have right now? I think most of this, it seems like everyone's getting it. We've got everyone chiming in, so there doesn't seem to be too many questions. But if you do have a question, please feel free to shout it out. Nothing too tricky though. All right, so let's do these problems together. All right, so first of all, on the angle Y, what type of angle are we looking for in that? Is this, is this is the total, when you add them together, is that angle in this top one, is it complementary or supplementary? Yes. Uh, complementary? It is complementary, thank you. So what does it need to add up to? 90. 90, that's right. And I know you guys all know this because I say it every single time, but you can tell a 90 degree angle because instead of the angle being curved, you have the little, uh, the square in the corner that shows that it's 90 degrees. So can somebody tell me what the answer is to this question? What is angle Y? Y is equal to 34 degrees. 34 degrees, thank you so much, I appreciate that. All right, and then down at the bottom, we're looking at this a little more, this, this uh, line here, so our, the top piece, are we looking at a complementary or a supplementary angle where what are we looking at there supplementary the angle a supplementary angle and can somebody tell me what angle a is what is the the answer to the missing angle 142 degrees that's right 100 that's that's perfect 142 degrees thank you so much i appreciate it so a is 142 degrees and then if we look down at the bottom one, what type of angle is uh, the bottom, B, C, D? What are we looking for? Or I guess, what's C? Oh, 135. 135, and how did you know? Because the other one's 135. That's right, and they're congruent angles, correct. All right, so we know we're looking for 180 degrees for B and D. So can somebody tell me what angle D is? 45 degrees. 45 degrees, perfect. So then what's B? 35. That's right, it's the exact same because those are congruent angles. Does anybody have any questions on this? Can you tell me again what a complementary angle is? I am, I can. I can tell you again what a complementary angle is, but can anybody else tell Drew what a complementary angle is? Uh, I think it's a, uh, it's, it's when you have like a, uh, when it, when it adds up to 90 degrees. Okay. So the question was, what is a complementary angle? Or I mean, a, yes, a complementary angle. All right. So, so Elliot told us that it was, um, an angle that adds up to 90 degrees. What I'm going to ask you to do is check in. I'm going to stop sharing here. I'm gonna have you check in your email right now and I sent home your homework. So there's two pages to that. I would like it turned in by the end of the day on Friday. So that's 3 p.m. on Friday. Tomorrow morning, if you have any questions on this, once you go over the homework, I'm not anticipating too many questions, but should you have it, or if you just miss all of our smiling faces, I would love to have you join us on our next Zoom call for office hours for math tomorrow morning. I'm here at 8 a.m. We'll be here for a half hour at 8, and I'll be here for another half hour at 9. If you have any questions about your homework or uh, you just want to chat with me or any of your classmates, please join us tomorrow. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate everything that you've been doing. I know this is hard, and I will see the rest of you guys tomorrow when you're back in the classroom. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.